Hi guys, I know, I probably look crazy, I know I do, um, so we're going to America today, I know, I'm so used to not looking in the lens, looking over here, and I'm trying to look at you guys in the lens, um, uh, I just put these little guys on my eyes, just to kind of give them a little bit of life, uh, I have another five minutes with this, and then we're gonna go do a little small baby face, nothing too crazy, so we're gonna be, like, shopping all day, and in and out of stores, and traveling like that in the car, so we are gonna do it, we are going to Hobby Lobby today, and whatever else, or whatever stores they have across the border, I don't live far from Niagara Falls, I live about an hour and a half from the border, and that's it, so we're gonna go to the states so and we're gonna go shopping today so i want to vlog it all i'm gonna do a whole watch of uh, filming and i'll definitely do some shorts and stuff like that but i wanted to start the vlog out at home so i can show you guys little processes so this is a very beginning step me looking crazy in the morning um yeah nothing on my face i'm just sleeping i'm gonna leave my hair up i don't like my hair down um so anyways i want these to give these another few more minutes on my eyes just to why not to come off for a guy? Maybe if it gets like right in there. This one looks like it's upside down, but it's fine. Five more minutes for these and then a cream and do a little makeup. I think I have everything ready. I want to make some lunch stuff for the road. It's going to be such a fun trip. Ugh, so needed. So exciting. Um, it's almost 9 in the morning now, so I didn't even wake up that early. Uh, 8.30, nothing too crazy. Showered, I'm just doing to do this. Um, it's quarter to 9 now, so. I'll be sitting in my makeup chair by 9. I'm just going to make coffee, and that's it. My eyes are a little red. Like. Holy crap, I gotta trim that nose hair. Like, the things you see on camera, like, you don't really see my sleep face. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna sign off here, looking crazy, but, um, you guys are gonna see a lot of me today. We're definitely gonna go, and we're just gonna film it. Hopefully, we'll get something cool at the end, but, um, if I just keep filming it, then I'll have a lot of footage. We'll figure something out, right? So, well, let's go look cute, shall we? How do you do this? I know, I know, that's not how you do it. I'm not a TikTok star, guys. I try, I try, though. So now we are going to head on to the 403. And we're just going to take that straight down to Niagara Falls. And then from Niagara Falls, we are going to jump over to the border and then cross and then go over to Niagara Falls, New York side. And then we're going to do a little bit of shopping over there. So I'm just going to take you along for the car ride with us and see what type of shenanigans we get in for today. All right, guys, it took us so long to get down here, but we are really close to Niagara uh, Falls. This is pretty much it, just on, like coming up to it. It's all like the outlets and all that. So there is like a coach outlet out here. There's H&M. There's just a whole whack of different stores. Um, Tommy Hilfiger. You can get some Gucci in there. Um, they do have a little bit more high end stuff in there as well, but you can also get more reasonable stuff. Alrighty, so now we're in Niagara Falls. It's there was so much traffic, like it lied to me. It took us a lot longer to get up here. Um, so here, guys, this is one of like the main strips down in Niagara. So this is like their version of their like little CN Tower type of thing. Um, and then here, um, I think it's like Lundy Lane and Stanley, I think. But honestly, don't even quote me. I don't know. I don't live down here. But um, yeah, so we're just there. You just go down this little hill and this hill is such a bugger to walk up um, when you're down here by the lake and you actually walk up to where like all the action is in the summertime. It's pretty chill right now because it's still chilly out, right? But down the summer, this is pretty busy. So as we just pull up here driving through, I wanted to show you like the little bit of the falls. I couldn't get too much of it because you can't really pull over there. So I could only get what I could get, but it is so pretty. I really want to see it on the U.S. side um, one day. I didn't get to see it um, this trip, but definitely, hopefully, like, a trip I'll have to make over. But even here, guys, as a little crossing, 
it's so pretty to get taken all the views shall i say but it's so so um it's just so beautiful i just love it down here it's really fun and airy to come out and visit so this is it guys this is basically the bridge over to the u.s and i filmed to see like the lights and stuff but i can't really film going through well i don't know honestly you probably could probably wouldn't be that crazy but to be honest i didn't even want to go through the headache i just wanted to get over easy peasy and see the other side so this is the bridge you like see the views oh it'd be so cool to see the falls over there and then here we are we pull up to the border it was pretty easy to get through nothing too crazy passports you know what are you doing hey hey and then this is little italy it says um this little town guys it looks so sad it looks a little like run down but i think covid probably had a good effect on it i found a dollar store i'm going in i have to <laughs> well, guys pulling up to this little dollar store it's kind of like we have these like back home it's not really a dollar store it's like a store that has stuff for like two bucks five bucks eight bucks twelve bucks <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that type of store. So honestly, I didn't bother with that store because it's just not really what I was looking for. I'm like, yo, I have that back home. So we just got back in the car and we're just going to drive through this little town. Now, this is the first time I have ever been to Niagara uh, across like the states like this. Uh, we've driven through once or twice before, but never like this side or whatever. So I've never seen this before. So I thought it was pretty cool just to see like this little town. It does look a little like... It just looks quiet, to be honest, but this is a Saturday. Who knows? Maybe everybody's working. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, so this little town, we're just going to drive through. Look at that little elephant. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know. It doesn't feel no different to me. Truthfully, it honestly feels like I'm in Canada right now driving through this. Like there is no difference. Only difference is like when you look at gas, you see liters to gallons. Okay, right? But... Driving up here, I ain't gonna lie, I did see this little Tim Hortons, which was like super crazed because it actually was like blue, which I haven't seen like a blue Tim Hortons. So that was kind of like, okay, I see you. Um, I'll try to put a picture in here, guys, to show you. It's just different. So bye-bye, little Italy. Nice to see you. Nice visiting. This little Tim Hortons here. All the colors were like blue. It was super crazy. So now here comes the real good stuff. We are coming up to all the shopping centers, which is just outside the town. It's not that far out. So it's actually kind of convenient for whoever like lives there. It's kind of awesome. Hey, Canadian geese. What's in? <laughs> you guys on the other side? Traders. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here. I know, I know, I know. Canada geese—they're geese. They go everywhere. It is what it is. I don't know. We just call them Canada geese. I don't know if you guys call them that or just call them geese. Is what it is. Just having fun. Was super funny though. We had a good chuckle. That's where I'm such a shit face. I want to go and like not be impressed. You just make me buy different things. Here we are guys, we're finally at Hobby Lobby. Now I need to know what all the hype is all about. Um, so we're just outside. I'm just actually doing like a little clip or a reel or something like that for some sort of socials. I definitely tried to do all I could. My phone actually like stopped working um, as soon as I got over, I think the last post I did to the US side. So it kind of sucked for me. I didn't have no more internet. Um, yeah, and I was not calling over and doing all that headache just for the day. I really didn't think that far ahead, but it's all good. So I'm just going in and I'm just going to show you guys around a little bit. So how I feel, I feel that this kind of gives me Michael's, um, home sense. Basically Michael's in a home sense, I would say. But also like a well-stocked, overstocked, bigger Michaels. You have to think Michaels like just way more product. Do you know what I mean? Like that's how I really feel. Like this is a huge craft store that has like crazy, crazy, crazy. Like you had four aisles of artificial flowers where at our Michaels, we might get like an aisle and a half, maybe depending on the size, right? Or depending on the bigger ones, maybe two. Um, so this just to give you a little kind of like how us we have in Canada to how you guys got it in in the states or whoever wherever you guys have Hobby Lobby so yeah it's deaf bigger 
But so we're just going to look around. I have nothing really in mind. I'm definitely going to check out the nail stuff, but I just want to check out a little bit of everything. I really just want to kind of like look around and have fun. So that's all I'm going to do, guys. I will let you guys just kind of chill and I'll play a little music. I don't want to talk through the whole, whole video. You guys will be sick of me by then. But and even here, like I just seen these blue roses. They were so cute. I was like, oh, I was going to get them. But I think even in once I converted all the money, they still would have been around 20 something dollars. And I was just ugh, for a little fake bouquet. I couldn't. But then I was like, oh, my God, I probably should have because they're perfect. I don't know why I did. I regret it now. Oh, and because I'm not the one filming majority of this, my best friend is filming um for me so i feel like i missed out a lot on this trip when i'm back editing this guys like i'm legit seeing stuff that i never see i was like um never seen this at hobby lobby stuff at five below i was like omg how did i miss these yeah it was kind of crazy but to be truthful i really didn't want to go crazy on this trip once you figure it out and realize, you know, it's not that far, a day trip out here is not that crazy, I can come back out. I just wanted to see what it was about. Of course, you're going to grab a couple things, a few things that I can't get in this in uh, Canada, you know what I mean? Uh, but I didn't actually go that, that crazy. We, we did pretty well. So again, we're just kind of looking through a lot of craft stuff. They have a lot of like picturey stuff and a lot of lighting. I have a nightstand light kind of like this. This is pretty cool though. That would have fit my bedroom style pretty well. Mine's just gold. Hmm. Now I see that. Yeah, a lot of things. Just shop it away. Couldn't see all the pictures. Like really, really like it's just big, right? It's so much stuff. Like look at all these little look at the Yoda dude. Oh, I have a I have a friend that would have loved them. Look at all these. Oh, I wish I had the room for one of these. I would love to have one of them. One of these big boards in my room. But I don't have the wall space for it, so a lot of notebooks are better for me. But oh, I wish I did have the room for it. I think they look so pretty. Tilia has one. Oh, I love how it looks. Um, so with this shirt here, um, in Obby Lobby, you can get little t-shirts, um, kind of like Dollar Tree has. Um, I still think Dollar, t Dollar Tree is cheaper. Um, but I was so hot. This day was supposed to be like 17. It was not supposed to be that hot. So I just wanted to be comfy in a nice hoodie. I did like light hoodie, chill clothes. And guys, I was like so hot. I was sweating. Like, luckily I didn't have much makeup on to sweat off. But like, yeah, any little makeup I did have on was basically off my face. It was so hot. So I got a t-shirt to change into. And then I found my containers that I absolutely love that I use for all of my bling. I use for all of my glitter. Like, I just use these 10 gram pots for pretty much everything. And you can get them at cheap. Here, you guys got it for $7.99. Yes, girls. I said in Canada, I'm just saying, these are the ladies I'm talking to. Talk to my Canadian ladies or anybody that can't get to a Hobby Lobby. $7.99. Do you know how much we pay for these at Michael's? Like $16.99? Yeah. And we never get discounts because they're everyday low price. Like, I swear. Yeah. It's crazy. So I bought as many as I had. They only had five. I said I was going to buy four regardless, but five was good. And I got two, I think, for like $7.40 or $7.50. Yeah, it was weird. I was like, I'll take it though. And then here I found some different like beads. I was still trying to film in there and do cute stuff for you guys. I don't know. It was so fun. Honestly, guys. I'm sorry. My tummy's growling. That's weird. I, I have eaten, I promise. Um, it's It was just a fun day out. And like I said, it wasn't about going, going ham, spending money. It was just really about just enjoying like the little trip and vibe and just to see the different stores but I was exhausted like getting up early going shopping that tires me out like <laughs> I was done by the end of this trip to be honest but yeah it, it was fun it was nice so again we're just kind of looking around I'm trying to get familiar with the store I don't know where anything is so we are going to find these are more like more for necklaces and stuff like that I get it but Honestly, again, I'm not the one recording too, so I do have to have um, maybe a, f a few lessons with my videographer to just slow down a little. Um, some clips were a little bit fast, but um, I'm so appreciative of the work regardless. So I'm too shy and that's my thing. I get very shy, so I'm working into it. I slowly film things and that's how I break myself into it. Or I would film myself, guys, but with my anxiety, I, I freak myself out. So I'm so blessed to have my best friend to do that for me but you'll see me video little things and I will and I'll try because I really want to I want to get out of that comfort zone like who cares like you know what I mean who cares oh and now here again so 
I think I'm going to probably talk to this whole video. I hope you guys don't get tired of me. So these are the paper pads. I kind of regret not grabbing a couple. I did see a few now in the video looking back for $6.99. I don't know why I didn't see these $6.99 ones. I never seen them. I only seen the ones that were like, again, pretty much the same as ours, 20 something. Yes, you get a 40% discount, but once I convert it to my money, it's still around the same price. So I was looking for really, really unique ones. And to be honest, it, they were pretty low stock, I find. Um, I know it doesn't look that way, but like on just different unique type of ones that, were, that I wanted to pay for the money, right? Um, again, you always want to get a little nail pick, cuteness, um, and so funny, like my ring won't even fit on my left hand because of my kawaii nails, so I just had to wear it on my right. Anyways, <laughs> these little guys, this is cute because I was like, right? I like this one. I think it'll go better in the house. I love the white, but you know what? Let's just bring in the grays and blacks. Okay, <laughs> I'm so funny. Again, wanted to show you the deals, the sales you get right some good deals like everything's on sale here i find so that's awesome definitely like a permanent sale got some little containers um they're not going to work what i wanted them for but they're still super cute i kind of wish i got two um and then again i do find the crystals i do find where the give the nail art yes they have some stuff i personally think it's a pretty overpriced unless you're gonna get like sales on sales guys unless you can get the stuff for a dollar or two bucks I'm not buying it for that quantity. Like I get it if you only want a couple, if you're new in the game and like, or like I said, you get it for dirt, dirt cheap, like a buck or two. All means I'm not spending five ninety nine, six ninety nine. dollars I'm not doing it. I can go on alley, get glass ones that are crystal. These type, same type of thing, same uh, quality and more quantity. So I personally, I'm not at the point where I'm spending that, but hey, they have them if you can get them for really cheap. They didn't really have any sales on these. They might have had a little 40% or something, but I would need cheaper than that even for that to make sense, right? Guys, I apologize in my window. You know that window's loud. I'm in my little nook editing. It's beautiful. The window's open, so I apologize. But here, Mother Nature, bring the breeze. So more crystals, more crystals. We're going to keep moving on a little bit, though. And guys, it's like I'm shopping with you here. A few of these things I didn't see. So mad at myself. Um, females, again, more on the pricey side, wouldn't buy them here. But these shells I would have bought because they were so freaking unique. And I've never seen them like that, that small. But by golly, your girl did not see them in person. These shells. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I would have. I wish I would I wish I would have seen them to buy them. And I think there was like one pack left. Um, no, but I didn't get any of them. By golly, what buggers. I'm going to have to go back though. Like I said, it's not that far. Couple hour trip, nice day trip out. Easy breezy, right? So again, just showing you the little bit of nail art that I found at this particular one. Remember guys, all Hobby Lobbies are different. So it all depends probably where they are. And then these charms, I know they're not really used so much nails, but you could use some of these as little nail dangles. Like these little tool ones, I think would be the cutest nail dangles. I know it's not practical, but it would be so cute, right? The little thing, oh, little pencil. Not practical at all, but by golly, it'd be cute. Especially if you could just clip it on and clip it off just as like, just to be bouge for a few seconds. And then, you know, when you want to go to bed or shower, you just take it off. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> I'm in here. It's giving me Michael's vibe. That lady probably thinks I'm crazy. I am crazy. I have no clue what it, yeah, it's giving Big Michaels. I just don't know where I am. Hey guys, I think I'm done. I'm done with Hobby Lobby. So this is kind of cool. They sell a little lamp here, 13 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. So my best friend made this. I thought it was super, it was super cute. So nice. So I definitely want to get a few little photo ops and not bad. Hobby Lobby, 65 bucks. See you later. Okay guys, so went into Hobby Lobby, I bought a t-shirt because I'm hot AF, um, I don't know, it's still like 17 but it's hot, like it's a hot, 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 um, like 19 now, so it's not even that craze, but went into Hobby Lobby, didn't do too bad, under 70, to be honest, there was nothing, <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like it wasn't that craze, um, there's a lot of stuff, it definitely gives me like it was a bigger Michaels vibe, um, with like a smidge of a home sense, but um, I really don't find that it's like that that crazy. But we're here still in the plaza, and in this plaza they have a Walmart, and I want to check out the Walmart because I know it's stupid. You're like, girl, you went to the states for Walmart, but everything you guys have in the states is way different than us, so I feel like your Walmart probably would be better than our Walmart anyway. 
But also where we're like we cross the border here, it's like New York. Niagara Falls, New York. So again, unfortunately, probably with a lot of like pandemic and stuff too, I think like the little local areas, it's a lot like it's not as busy, right? It's a little bit like more more down, more chill type of area. So we're gonna go into Walmart now. Cause I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm sweating like a hoover. It's hot. Sam's Club. That's like a um, Costco, I would believe, right? Five below. What is five below? Thank you. This guy's not even watching. His whole head is down. Like, and I'm not watching you guys. <laughs> All right, let's go to Walmart. Let's check out Walmart in the states. Awful. Feel much better in t-shirt. Guys, realistically, Walmart's Walmart. So I didn't get anything in there, but you know what? It's all good. So I wanted to check out this five below. And yeah, like in here it's just a lot of things are like five bucks. Is it everything five bucks? I don't think everything's five bucks. I forget now. Now I'm looking back, I forget. I'm trying to see the sign. <laughs> I forget how it works. But I think everything I got was five dollars, so I think it's five. I know they say five below, so I maybe no seven dollars. So it's not everything's not five dollars. That's what I was looking for. I needed a marker. Um, but a lot of things are five dollars in there. So I think I got a, a couple. Um, how do you call them? Watercolor palettes and just stuff like that. I love me a good pen. So I was looking up the pens and type of things. I was like, hey, five bucks, I'll do it. I think they wanted like seven or eight bucks. I was like, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> like, no, I'm not even, right? Eight bucks US for a pack of pens? No. Not on my box. Uh, not on my watch. So keep it pushing. Um, again, this is like a lot of video, or not video games, a lot of game, board games and stuff like that. These little nail art palettes, I thought it would be really good for, uh, they're not nail art palettes, sorry. Uh, watercolor palettes, I thought it would be good for nail arts. Um... So I grabbed a couple of them. This little thing is to wash your makeup brushes. I've seen it, it's super cute. I was like, oh, five bucks should I? And I was like, girl, it works perfectly good with a little bit of soap in a cup, girl, do it yourself. So I put it back um, and I wanted to go check out a few other things. I actually got the little lip chap that's down there. Not bad, it's actually very pigmented lip chap though, by golly. Um, so be careful of how you apply it. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. I think through here, honestly, just grabbed a couple little things. I think even grabbed a board game and then just kind of looked. So I'll let you guys relax and just kind of shop with me. I'll give you guys a break of me talking. I've been talking through this whole video so far. Okay, so as my camera person kind of came and walked around, I see these little $4 bins over here and these little two and five over there. I know looking at the nails, but I never seen those bins and I walked right up to these nails. Like I swear I missed out on some things I've seen in this camera, <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of see right here what like little press-ons they had. I wanted to get a pack and just kind of test them out, see the quality and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted just to look and see which ones I thought were cute, which style I liked. Okay, now guys, we're going to go into a Target. So Five Below was fun. I got a few things. Now I want to check out Target. Um, 
have I, I think I've been in a Target once or twice, to be honest. I think both times, probably in the States. I uh, don't really remember. I think it always reminds me of, like, a baby Walmart. Um, yeah, so just going to go in, kind of see what they have. Automatically see to my right-hand side that they have some sort of dollar, $2 little bins. So I definitely want to check them out. Didn't really find anything. To be honest, guys, in here, I, like... I just do a quick roundabout, nothing too, too crazy, just to kind of see what it is, see what the prices are. Here we are guys, we're gonna run into Sally's. Um, I heard Sally's has some nice nail stuff. So again, all stores are different. So this store, this particular Sally's, to be honest, didn't have much nail stuff. Now they did have a bit here, I'll go over here. They did have a couple of uh, OPIs and a couple of, like press-ons. And like, as you see right here, I feel like this was mainly like their nail stuff. They didn't have really any, any decals, anything like that. Um, no hard gels, no builders, no, nothing of that of sort. So they did have a few files, a few little things, but honestly, I didn't really need to like re up my restock bin. I'm, I'm pretty stocked, I think, for everything. So again, they have some nice little polishes over here, instant dries, and stuff like that. Again, really wasn't in the market right now for that type of stuff. So it wasn't like the most best nail supply store that I have gone into from what I'm used to. But again, this is a smaller one in a smaller community. So it does have your basics. They have your extra nail stuff uh, or sorry, extra hair stuff and stuff like that too. So I just kind of want to go in and check her out. So I'll just let you guys kind of look around here with me. Like I said, I didn't buy anything in here though because they didn't really have much that I was looking for. So I was just like, okay, this is, this is it quick update it's still hot <laughs> it's so hot oh my god guys i have no clue my nose is running um so just went into target nothing too crazy i don't know target to me literally is like a baby walmart so target haul what do we get at target nothing too crazy we got some barbecue chips <laughs> we got some bananas and realistically i'm not gonna lie i've been wanting a ginger ale <laughs> since i left home i'm a hot and we need to get something to eat we're gonna go into i think we're gonna go into dollar tree now um honestly guys i don't know like i think the stores are yeah they're good they're kind of what you think and what you would expect but they're, they're really no different in all truth. Um, so we're just out here having a little fun for the day, um, a good day out. I wanna go see what the US Dollar Tree has to offer, if it's any different, hopefully, cause nothing else has really like impressed me yet. But if not, we'll have to go back over to the Niagara Falls Canada side and see what their outlets, but it all depends on the time, 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 time. We have to eat too. So yeah, we're gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna have a banana because your girl's hungry. And a little ginger ale to help my tummy feel better. And get back to just kind of shopping, browsing, looking around, seeing what stuff we can get. Went into Sally's over here. They didn't have much nail stuff to be honest. Again, I didn't even get anything in there. Um, kind of crazy, but see you guys soon. 
We're just waiting in Target to get a cart. <laughs> I lied, I'm not at Target, I'm at TJ Maxx. So here guys we found the fridge section um just a little kind of like fun fact we do not have a fridge section like this we do not sell food at our dollar trees at least i've never seen food at our dollar trees maybe like drinks or like you know what i mean snacks or like canned goods or stuff but like not like this like little frozen section you guys have here like at this point legit i was hungry enough we were like looking at these meat pie things or like a, a patty we we're like hmm I wonder if you're good. But then we're like, why do you guys sell these without microwaves? They should have a microwave in this useless corner with all the boxes instead. And then I probably would have bought one because I was hungry. But I also actually bought a thing of pickles, which is kind of funny because I've never seen a bag of pickles at a dollar store. <laughs> but these little wrap snacks, OMG, I've never seen these in Canada. These are so cute. I actually personally love Mr. Noodles. So I wanted to get these. I was trying to find them in Canada and I couldn't find them anywhere. So the, the Dollar Tree had them was so fun. I grabbed like six of them um, just for like me and a couple friends. But yeah, it was so cute though. I love that I found them. So that was super fun. I haven't tried them yet though. Um, we'll definitely have to try them soon. But yeah, I love that I found them. Wrap snacks. Yeah. Here we are guys, we're all done the trip. I know I didn't film um, our dinner. We wanted to do an Olive Garden. It was like an hour and a half wait, so we went to Chili's. Just got fajitas and stuff, just kind of shared it guys. So right now we are back at the border. There's a little bit of a lineup, but thank you so much for watching our trip. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Let me get that little thumb out the way. So I just want to show you the few things, a few um, little goodies that I got uh, on my little trip there to the States, guys. I honestly did not get a lot at all. So only thing I really got at Hobby Lobby, um, I got a little t-shirt because I was hot, which you guys already seen. I got five of these. I got two of them for $7.49. Because I guess they marked it off. And then I got three for $7.99. So that wasn't bad at all. 
Um, I got this little decorative thing, which was $14.99, uh, but it was like 50% off or something. So now I can put it in the house, make it look cute. But these guys are 10, just so you know, if you don't know, these are 10 gram pots. I use them all the time. I have a whole whack of these in my studio. It's like my go-to for storing a lot of my stuff. And then they come in the storage tin. So, um, but like I said, they're about $17 here in Canada. So, you know, I, I took all they had, to be honest. I took all five. <laughs> so I got that from Hobby Lobby, that little thing. Oh, and then I got this little thing from Hobby Lobby. This was $12.99. Um, again, 50% off and we plan on doing, and this won't be for a little bit now, this will probably be a couple months away in all truth, um, plan on doing some scoops, like a little scoop party. So I'm going to put, we're going to do charms for our scoops. So I'm going to end up putting the charms in here and maybe scooping it from that, do it like during a live or something. You know, we'll get more details when we get closer to it, but I thought it'd be cute, you could use it in the studio or something like that. Okay, let's move on to the next store. I think we went into five below. Um, I grabbed this little thing here. It's full of chapsticks. I love them. Like I'm such a chapstick person. My favorite is um, Palmer's cocoa butter, but I love a big one. So I just grabbed these. They're really nice. I'm using the yellow one right now. It's quite nice. It's lemon, I think, or something. I can't remember, but they're really silky. I actually really like them. So not bad. Five bucks for all of them. Hey, that'll last me a little bit. So I got these little press-ons. Now I think what I'm going to do is do some sort of set with them, whether it be just, who knows, see how long they last, they wear, how do they look, anything like that. I thought this was really cute, good for summer vibes, you know what I mean? So nice. Again, in my money that's 7 bucks, so I'm not going to buy more than one pack, it just doesn't make sense for me. But you know what I mean, for the cause, I do want to check them out, check out the quality. So 5 and 5 with spending. And then again, I got two of these. Five dollars. I'm at five dollars. So I'm just gonna open one. I just want to see what all comes. I know it comes with a brush. I usually I don't use the brush that they come with. Usually they're pretty big for nail art, but these can work really good over stamping. Why not? It's all you need is like a basic set, and I feel like this could really be good. You have all your primary colors. And they're solid colors, which is nice. I like that they're solid colors and you get different tones. So I do have something similar to this. So maybe I'll do like $5 one versus, you know, a $40 one from Amazon because that's how much the other one was that I have. Um, so maybe I'll do something like that because I have to swatch them anyway. So that could be really fun, actually. Could do a nice fun video and just see the difference, see the different consistency in some of them. So maybe we'll do something like that because I do have another watercolor set that I have to swatch anyway. So... Why not do like the battle of the watercolors? That could be really fun. And then in the same breath, I bought one for to give you guys. So that will go in our giveaway stuff. Guys, if you're into giveaways, if you're into games, if you're into anything like that, uh, I have a Facebook group called BR Nail Talk. Uh, it was in my description for that if you want to know. But uh, we do fun games over there. We have a weekly game called Design It Nail Cards. Uh, we do a lot of giveaways. We're just um, getting ready to host another bingo. Hopefully it goes nice and smooth. So we do a lot of fun stuff over there. So if you're interested in stuff like that, go on and check it out. Again, it's called BR Nail Talk. But um, yeah, I think it could be something fun if you're interested in it. So definitely go over there. I know Facebook's old school, but you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with that. It ain't broke. You ain't got to fix it. So I got this little game. No, I didn't get it for the group though, to be honest. <laughs> I just got it for display, like for maybe like my coffee table or on like our TV stand or something like that. I thought it was cute. It kind of goes with the vibe. And again, I do see this as something as we would use for game night when my brother comes to visit, something like that. You know, we have friends over, my mom comes, like we always play games. So to me, like this is just a cute little tic-tac-toe game. Like I said, this is just some nice, simple decor. Like, that's exactly what I'm going to use it for. Not in my studio. Ooh, so she a little... She got dropped or something. Sucks. But I guess it is what it is. Can't really see these things. So 
So these are wood too. They're not nothing too, too crazy. Again, again, this could be something really nice and cute just sitting on the coffee table, right? So. However you kind of want to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I thought it could be cute. It's wood. It's not real marble, but... Like, it's cute. It's not bad. I actually thought it was more marble. I, have, I don't know why I thought they were, like, maybe, like, fake marble, not wood, but it's still cute. Five bucks. I think I can dress it up make it look cute. Again, it does kind of go with this thing. Like, so there's different ways to dress stuff up just to have, like, on your table. You could have something like this even in your studio, honestly, and just have it on your guests, like, when you come in, to have it on your side table with like a little candy treat or whatever something right if that was your gem there you go see what I'm saying it would definitely look cute on your little end table for your guests to come in something cute to look at have your business cards a little snack or something like that on that and then wait for your services right I'm gonna use it in my home because I just work from my home and I don't really do any clients right now but I still think it'll be very cute in my house so oh I like it not bad for under 20 bucks probably not even 15 dollars to be honest okay so next let's go to TJ Maxx and that was the last store I bought from oh I did get a couple things from the Dollar Tree oh yeah where are those things Oh yeah. Let's do the Dollar Tree first quickly because it's just two things. Um, I got these little guys. I've never seen them at ours in Canada. They might have them. I just might not have seen them. So I thought they're cute. So I did grab the two pink and blue kind of go together. I'll, pro I'll use them for something. Who knows? Um, we did get a couple other little things. Like I said, we don't, I, I bought a bag of pickles. I haven't tried them. I'll let you know when I try them. I'll try them on like a vlog or something. Um, they're just in the fridge. But yeah, nothing too crazy, like I said, a couple vitamins, stuff like that. So. And then at TJ Maxx, I just got some face stuff because it was all pretty much discounted. So this is just some collagen. Like to me, I don't know, personally, you can't go wrong. A big bottle, $4.99. Like how could you beat it? Again, and I tried all these yesterday and well, my face felt so nice all day. So I can't wait to actually just put them in, like in my uh, area. So another thing of collagen, a lift and tightening. It's in hydration. So that's nice for firming and lifting. Trust me, you're never too young to start like good face um, creams and stuff like that. And then here we just have a little aloe. Oh, and this was like $4.50, guys. This is $3. It's just a nice little aloe spray because mine's actually done that I have that's over here, which I really, really like from Amazon. This one, facial spray with aloe herbs and uh, rose water. So this is empty, so I actually did need one. I love that when I'm in the studio, guys, honestly. Like, there's so much light since that. Oh, sometimes it's so nice just to spray your face and have something fresh to wake, kind of just, you know, wake you up a little bit. It's hard to stare at little things all the time. And then I personally like to use body lotion rather than hand lotion uh, on my hands and stuff. I just feel like it's less oily. So I got this to try. I tried it. It was actually really, really nice. Um, I was trying to get this off and it didn't want to come off for me. So, or come up. I don't know if it will or it's broken. What it wanted to do. But it's just collagen, vitamin E, some stuff like that. So, but, you know. That was good a little, but it's not greasy at all, so I do like that. Very light, and it smells like coconut, so. And shea butter, like how could you, oh, how could you go wrong? How could you go wrong in life with that? So that's it, guys. I know it's not crazy. I hope you guys are not disappointed in it not being a lot of stuff, but honestly, I didn't see anything really worth me buying that I couldn't already get over here. And also, we didn't get to go to every single store. That mall is pretty big, so it'll definitely have to go back there. And sorry that we didn't film dinner in that, guys, but like, we just went to Chili's. Honestly, it's just like having, like, Montana's here or something like that. I don't know. Or, like, yeah, like, I don't know. The not the keg, but, like, you know, just a little fried 
type of place. I don't know. It was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't like... No, nothing to brag about. But I actually forgot to film it. I forgot to take a picture before we started eating. We were hungry. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't, make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!